I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years, though of course, they had been present long before then. The Dead Walker army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lord's command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead, and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades, a renowned company who would become even more so after these events. The Blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war. Great scouts. You can smell them from 50 yards away. So here we are. And just think, the captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stack pots and do their trains. But he knows that. He knows his men. And he knows his Powder Master hates just hanging around. Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. Shit! I honestly believe we stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. All of their TL is on the brink. Nothing will stop the Dead Walkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. If it were even possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their big ritual thing doesn't pan out, we're all gonna be left standing here with our asses hanging out. A bunch of chatty priests playing Sorcerer's Apprentice against seven immortal mages. Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn, they're here already. I better warn the others fast. Enjoy your stroll? Get over here and tell me about it. Thank you. 
by the looks of you. I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The Dead Walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want him to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood. We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. Give all these to Peeler. He'll figure it out. The power. you're standing there looking like a kid waiting for sweeties tells me you have a question. Oh, come on then. Out with it. Anything else I can do, apart from waiting for the hobblers to come knocking on the temple doors? You could go and search the area. Nobody's coming back to collect what they left here. Or you could go and check inside, see if our adorable employers need a hand or a neck rub. This isn't the ideal place to get trapped by the Deadwalkers. Do we have an escape plan? If you think I dragged us to the top of this mountain without figuring out how to get back down, laddie, you're not going to be commanding troops anytime soon. It's true they're early, but the plan stays the same. We have to hold this position until the dozy bastards are done with their chanting. What comes after that is my concern until I tell you. I was only asking, sir. I guess we could just hold our noses and chop our way out through them? Don't count on it. If the Dead Walkers are already here, it means Bastion has fallen. It's just a way to the west, and that means we get stuffed by a whole siege battalion. There'll be hobblers, specters, spewers, maybe even a juggernaut if the gods have decided to stick it all the way in. The gods, or the Ice Lords, so juggernauts really exist. I've never seen one. Well, I have. And I'd rather not have to see another. I worked in a Morkine for a couple of years. A huge fortress with walls as high as ten men. Those things tore the place down with their bare hands. There were two of them, maybe three. The fortress fell in a single night. There's something creepy about our employers. I shouldn't have to remind you of the Freeborn Blades code. You don't ask questions about a paying customer. And of course they're strange. It doesn't take a genius to figure out they're more than just wise men seeking knowledge. But so far, the only thing that's bothering me 
is their insistence on performing that ritual in this God's forsaken temple. I guess that this is the only place they could do it. Or maybe they just don't want to die without company. The whole thing stinks of mass suicide to me. Ah, give it a rest, lad. <sighs> Damn. I probably should have got them to pay in advance. <laughs> I'll go, Captain. I heard those red scribes can go for days without eating. Seems they live on books. Me, I prefer food. Hey, Peeler, lend me a hand, will you? We've got to prepare the area before it gets overwhelmed with walking corpses. These are a few treats to welcome our buddies, the Deadwalkers. Booby trap all the access points, and try not to blow yourself up. Ha! <laughs> Don't sweat it, I can handle it. I'm not kidding. If you lose an arm, it's gonna be my ass that gets blamed. Come more of them. Good! 
Everybody to the temple! No! see how Buffalo is getting along with the scribes. He's meant to be guarding their invoking chamber. Huh? But Captain... Get out of here! And go find Pila for me while you're gone. I'll give you but Captain. Right. Are you coming or what?
Fall back to the invoking room, and fast!
Concentrate! We almost have it! Well now, that must be the fifth time I heard him say that. This stupid ritual is taking too God's damn long. Oh shit, here come the hobblers. Are you going to be all right? I'm fine. Worry about those dead walkers. Are you hurt, Buffalo? I need it. For now, we just... Got it, Sergeant. I'll keep the hobblers busy. shouldn't do that. from my daughter!
Do that. Captain, I think it's time we talked about a promotion. We don't have time for this, Vulcan. We need to move out before the rest of them get here. The passes are probably crawling with them already. There's a passage to the other side of the mountain. It will lead us to the swamp. The swamp? Ah, oh, that sounds fun. Hey, did anybody see what I just did to that huge fucking monster? I mean, seriously. I fried that thing. I saved our asses, and you're all just... Hey, what's for lunch? I said shut it, Vulcan. Thou hast fled. What the? Thou didst hold the power to face the necromancers, yet thou didst flee. I had no choice. No choice? Hast thou even thought of choosing? Thou art fled like a thief, and thou hast left me, a shadow of myself, trapped here in this prison. I did not create this situation. I'm not even sure I understand what has happened. The hour for questions is past. Thou must act. It is I who will suffer for thy cowardice. I who will pay for thine fault. I who will face extinction. And if I must die, if the flame is extinguished, our world will die as well. I will not let the flame die. I am in a war against these necromancers, and at last I have the power to fight them. What dost thou hope to accomplish in this ridiculous human shell? As it is now, it is useless to us. The flame is not a toy for mewing infants. It exists to reign. Its power must not be stolen from thee. We must reconquer the world heart as swiftly as we may. Hey, Vulcan, enough of your daydreaming. Move your ass, huh? Buffalo. Vulcan, you hear me? Pull your finger out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. My head feels like a bomb went off in it. Well, shake it off. We're still not at the end of this stinking swamp, and I'm not gonna carry you all the way to the village. Anyway, how come Hawk isn't the one with me here? He's the lead scout. I always go with him. Hawk is covering the back of the line. So this time, I'm the one who goes with you. You'll get over it. Let's go. You lot are about as discreet as a herd of hunchbacks. I thought that elves were supposed to have superior eyesight. Do we look like stiffs to you, dickhead? Not yet.
But with an arrow sticking out of your throat, I'm certain that even a chatterbox like you could do a passable impression. And you'd be the next one down. Possibly. Perhaps I should aim for the largest target first. Not if you want to keep both your balls. What have we here? Buffalo in person. Well, that's a good sign. What's going on here? Who's the scrag with the pointy ears? Thanks for noticing. I try to keep them sharp. I am called Relmar. And I gather the red-faced fat belly with the filthy beard is none other than the famous Elric, leader of the Freeborn Blades. They call me the Captain. All the Freeborn Blades call you Captain Elric. I have no doubt that they do. As for me, I've never had much interest in titles or in military protocol. I judge people by their deeds. And what are you doing down in the swamps, besides threatening honest mercenaries? Looking for you. Well, I began by searching for the Red Scribes. Prince Arundel is wounded. We had to withdraw to Valvanor, where I learned that you were expected. I just wanted to make sure you found your way there. This is not my first walk in the wilds, Arsewipe. As you can see, I'm on the right path, and we've nearly reached our destination. Captain, those creatures I told you about this morning are gathering nearby. They're probably getting ready to attack us. Ah, well those are called chrysalids. They wait until they have gathered enough numbers, and then they overwhelm you. And it would seem your little group is attracting a whole swarm to the village. Well, we'll give them a welcome. Actually, in spite of themselves, these creatures do an excellent job of keeping dead walker scouts away without raising any suspicions. If we allow them to gather here and then massacre them, I fear we'll be moving their territory a bit too close to Valvanor, which will lead to our being discovered sooner or later. I suggest we send one or two men back. This will keep them separated and occupied while the rest make it to the village. I'm ready to volunteer. If you fear I might try and slip away, I know the area well. Sounds like a plan to me. Vulcan, you're on it. I want to go too. I... The animals and plants in this swamp are extraordinary. And the venom of these chrysalids seems very interesting. I'd love to get a chance to observe them more closely. Sybil, that is out of the question. Have you lost your mind? It's too dangerous. Come on, let her off the leash. It'll be good for her. I promise I'll bring her back in one piece. Vulcan, rule number two. We'll see you at the village. Sybil! See you later. <laughs> 